these are four puzzles of increasing difficulty to solve. The first is the star, the second is the ball, the third is what I call the gimbal, and the fourth is gears. So let's start with each of these puzzles one at a time. First we take the star apart looking for a key piece, pushing that piece out, and then the puzzle will fall apart. Of these pieces, three of them are the same. Color doesn't make difference because they can change from puzzle to puzzle. But these two here have slots in them, which are going to be used to allow this key piece to go through at the end in this uh, fashion. So we begin our puzzle by taking one of these pieces, one of the duplicate pieces, putting it in the bottom. Then we take one of the ones with the groove in it, put it next. Take another one of those three pieces, put it here, and take the last groove and put it in. We also want to make sure that we don't put these upside down because we want to have a smooth groove that we can just put this slot through. Okay, our next puzzle, the ball, we're looking for one of these pieces at the bottom. In this case, it's the red one, which will push through, allow us to take this piece out at the top. Then we want to take out one of these uh, yellow pieces, the orange pieces in here. And we do this by sliding this through. And we can slide this piece out. Then we can also take the green piece right next to it out and this orange piece here and the other side will slide out. Again, color is not important. These are the two pieces that were on opposite ends of this slider in here. Our red piece which goes in last, our orange piece which is also available. Now we take the blue piece out and the puzzle will now come apart. Okay, so let's now put it back together again. We look to notice that there's a little slot here. That's where the yellow piece goes in. Similar on the other side. So we now have the yellow piece slotted down there. And we want to take this red and blue piece, not put them in that way, but perpendicular. If you look at these pieces, you will notice that they have these little nibs coming out, which you want to make sure line up when we put them inside the puzzle. So now we put the red one in first, turn it around, put the blue one in, making sure it's the same way. Now if we look down inside of this, we will notice that there's like a little slot on this side and a flat part on this side. The green one is going to go in that flat part. The green is polarized, so it may not fit in this direction. If not, we have to turn it over. So let's Give it our first try. We push it down, and we see it's coming up too high. So we now have to turn it over and push it back down. It fits in on the back perfectly. Okay, now, whoops. Yep, yeah, it fits on the back perfectly. Okay, it didn't quite get it slid in there. Now we open this up a little bit by pushing the yellow back. And we can push one of these half circles in, push the slot back, turn it around, and put the half circle in on the other side. And we may have to pull a little bit to get that piece in. And once we do that, we have, whoops, fell through. We have this slot here. And we want to make sure when we put this in that this piece will fall in there. So we may have to turn it around if it doesn't fit the first time. And we now slide that through. And we now have the ball put together. Now we move up to the gimbal, which is more difficult. In this case, you'll notice that there are some red slots there. You may not see them now. And I want to push this so that I can slide the blue piece back. Then I slide this forward, 
and fold through the bottom slot, and this will now fall apart. Okay. So these five are the same. This one is special. You'll notice a slot here and a slot at the bottom. Okay, so now I take one of these pieces, and on top of it, I put two pieces facing each other. And you will notice nibs on the ends of these pieces, which we try to keep together. Okay, then this piece will go in and match up with the nibs on the green one. Okay, now, we take these two here, we open them up a little bit so we can get the last of those pieces together. And we want to make sure all the nibs line up carefully. Now once we do that, we now have to take this red piece and we're going to take this bottom groove and put it in here and it's going to slide over the purple piece. But it can't because the blue is in place, so we push it back. We can then slide this through and if the pieces are tight enough, we can then push this forward a little bit, just enough so that we can slide the blue through the groove at the top. And now we slide the red piece in place, and we've now got the gimbal finished. And now our last piece, which is the toughest of all, is the gears. In this case, we want to take this purple piece. You'll notice a little groove there slide it, this will pull out, and the piece will fall apart. So the purple and the green are the unique pieces. These other four are the same except for color. This has one nib and a flat side. This has one nib and a groove. This is going to be the last piece to be put in. The difficulty in these pieces is that it takes these last two puzzles, it takes a bit of manual dexterity to put them together. So I put two of those in, I put the, this piece with the nib and the flat, so the flat is the furthest from the camera. Now I take and put this piece in, lining up the nibs. Now I want to open these up a little. Now I have to be careful because the screen can sometimes lock in on the blue. And I take in and put this red piece in, and I'm going to get it so the nibs come, one on the yellow and one on the orange. And then as I'm doing that, I'm bringing the green down. Oops, the green fell out a little bit. Again, as I mentioned, manual dexterity. try again to put that purple groove in, fits in, and then we just slide this purple one up, and it's locked in place. And we now have completed our four puzzles. Thank you very much.